What's happening, Fusion friends? Welcome to another episode. Today, yes, we are back to a Tackle Warehouse unboxing. The box doesn't say it, but look, I even got the corresponding shirt on. Tackle Warehouse, I've got a couple boxes from them, older stuff that I still haven't even unboxed yet, but this is a recent deal. If you follow me on Instagram, you all saw that I uh, put a post out and there's some things that I got. Now, first up, uh, these, they carry them on Tackle Warehouse. I didn't actually get this from Tackle Warehouse, but picked up some stuff directly from Kistler. They were nice enough to throw in a hat. The hat looks pretty dang cool. It's the uh, the black and gray and matches my uh, my shirt. But I picked up one of their reels. This is the Series 2 Kistler reel. Now, it's nice because they throw it in a pretty cool little uh, velvet bag. I don't really use the velvet bag, but they were nice enough to put it in there. Look at this. All black. Very cool looking. I am super boring when it comes to reels. I like an all black reel. So far, it, uh, it feels nice. I've taken it out and looked at it a little bit. We'll have more on this to come soon, but uh, a cool reel, nice and sleek, matte black, really nothing too crazy fancy about it, uh, but feels pretty good. Now, I, I picked up not only that, I think they threw the uh, the free hat in because I grabbed a rod and reel, but I picked up one of their new Kistler KLX rods. Look at that thing, black and red. Um, this rod is super light. Once you put a reel on it, I bet the balance of this will be perfect. Uh, but balances really well, super light in hand. I'm excited to see how this does. Let's just throw the reel on and see what the balance looks like with these two. Okay, so with the rod and reel on together, you can see the balance point is right there just in front of the reel seat, which is, is pretty good. You know, there's some reels that I don't mind if they're just a little tiny tip heavy. This is just a little bit tip heavy, but that's fine. There's certain applications where I like that. Anything where I'm reeling with the tip down, and even if you are working a, a tip up presentation, this, this combo is nice and light. So I will be breaking this down, uh, the rod and reel in separate videos, but that's a Kistler. Um, I actually got some of the older Kistler rods from last year. I've had them out and used them. I've really liked them. Uh, I haven't caught anything on them the times I've used them, but uh, they feel really good. Good company, uh, you know, made in the USA stuff. They're down in Texas, I believe. Does it say here? Maybe Washington. I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, feels super nice in hand. Very comfortable combo. Uh, we'll break that down more here soon. Okay, sticking with the whole rod and reel deal here, my uh, my guy Yak and Tien might know about this one. He said, is that what I think that is in your cart? Uh, a cash and icon rod? Indeed it is, sir. This happens to be my first cash and rod that I have ever owned. This is the Chatterbait rod. What is it? Seven foot one, moderate fast, medium heavy, 12 to 65 pound line, one half to one and a half ounce lures. In hand, it feels really nice. Now the interesting thing about the cash and rods is the uh, the actual part here where you grab on the butt and the, the front section here. It's a Kevlar wrap. It's a very different feel if you've never felt anything like this. I don't know of any other rod companies that do this. I think they're the only ones. Very different feel to it. It's kind of like a basket weave feel to it, but it is grippy. Feels really nice in hand. Uh, now with the cash and stuff, it is made in the USA. I know it's upside down there. Uh, it does also have the quality control deal there. Uh, pretty cool. I'm liking the rod. It feels super nice in hand. Again, this is a light combo. Let's see about this one. Now the, the balance point is right about here. Bouncing off a little box there. That's the balance point and the reel. This is the first reel I have ever used from this company. I picked it up on Amazon. I had a number of people ask about it. This is the Pissifen Alloy M. I have never used a single one of their reels. Um, this is an 8 4 to 1 little faster reel. I figured I'd pitch it, pick it up for some uh, picking, picking, pitching, and flipping. Feels good in hand. I mean, the combo all together feels super comfortable in hand. Uh, my pinky there behind the reel trigger, my finger here, I can still feel up there for the line. Tell you what, doesn't feel bad in hand. I'm going to break down this rod and reel separately uh, in videos to come, but I wanted to let you know I did pick those up. Now, let's get to the actual Tackle Warehouse box. All right, first off, let's get into a couple aluminum kayak upgrades. So I grabbed this because when I'm switching out lures, I don't like to put my lures away, whether it's treble hook lures or single hook lures. I don't like to put them away after I've been fishing them. I want to let them dry out. And instead of letting those lures sit on the side of me, this is from... TH Marine called the Tackle Titan Foam Lure Holder. Now I picked this up because it has the 3M strips already on it. Uh, so if you're a kayak angler or for myself an aluminum kayak, which is a joke, that's my John boat. Uh, but I say that because my John boat's only 11 foot. I didn't want to drill into the sidewalls of it. These have 3M super sticky uh, tape on it. And you can see this is just foam. So when you're done using your lures, this is I think nine or 10 inches. Um, when you're done using your lures, you can just kind of stick the hook in here and let them sit on the side of your boat to dry off. 
Um, so I picked up a pack of these. It comes with two of these in here. That's more than enough. I honestly thought it only came with one of these, so I'm glad it comes with the two. Um, put that on the side of my boat. When I'm done using the lure, I can hang it there and be done with it to dry off. So I will put these on soon. I also picked up this deal from Rapala or Rapala, whatever you want to call it. Um, this also comes with the 3M tape, but it came with uh, the needle nose pliers, scissors, because they're so handy. I mean, I would keep some of my truck and my John boat. They're so handy. And it also comes with wire cutters. So in case you get a, a, a fish that you know has a, a hook in a suspect spot, you can go ahead and cut that out. So these will fit on just like so. It comes with the 3M super sticky tape. Uh, it also comes with holes and mounting screws if you wanted to mount it on your boat. Uh, but I'm going to use just the 3M tape. Hopefully that will hold it. Uh, if it doesn't, I can run some screws into the spot underneath my seat where it's not actually going to, you know, mess with the hole of the boat or, you know, any structural pieces. But it comes with all three of these. And you can see there, it's kind of hard to pull off. It's magnetic. So it's got magnets in here that help hold that. So shaking that pretty hard going down the road, I think these should be all right. Uh, it's got the nice needle nose pliers that automatically open up. It's got a pair of scissors in there for cutting your braid and everything. And then uh, in case you need to cut a, a hook in there. It's got all three of those. So I'm going to get that put on as well. I'm excited to have that. That way, if I forget my bag or whatever that has those, I've always got those three in my boat. And those are three things that I use all the time. Okay, next is something I've never tried. Uh, Edwin Evers, and I've actually seen Shaw Grigsby use these. I would guess it's the same brand. Uh, but these are, what do they call it? Cush it, the Elite Pro 2 and just the regular Cush it Elite Bass. There's old Shaw right there. I grew up watching old Shaw Grigsby. Big fan of Shaw. I actually got these because of Randizzle. He hit me up and said, hey, uh, I broke the uh, or ripped off the back butt of one of my rods. And he's like, it's all metal back there. Do they sell anything that goes on the back of these? So this actually goes on the butt of your rod. You put it on there. And a lot of companies say that it's for balance points. So actually, let's just see that. Okay, took me just a minute to get that on there, but that's what it looks like after you get it on the butt of the rod. And you can see what it does is it actually changes the balance point. Look at that. The balance point, if I'm not running into those boxes, is right here. When I hold this in my hand, it is not tip heavy at all. It feels like it's very well balanced. So that's actually what they're for uh, is to help with the balance. And like uh, in Randizzle's situation, if you rip off the butt of your rod, you can put one of these on here. So... I know a number of people that use them, uh, or I've heard of people that use them. I've never actually used one myself, but um, Edwin Evers, Shaw Grigsby, I've seen them use them on tour, and look at that. Like, it is, it feels very good in hand now. You just barely hold it here, and it's perfectly balanced. So, interesting. You could use it to uh, to fix the butt of a, a rod, or just kind of fix your balance point if you've got a rod that's a little bit tip heavy. Feels cool. I picked up a couple, one for me and then one for Randizzle. I will give him the pro one, which is a little bit more low profile. Okay, next off, I spent enough that I got a free t-shirt. Uh, I'm going to give this away and some tackle. So stay till the end. Find out how you can win this. Uh, a tackle warehouse shirt, some tackle for me. I've got some extra stuff laying around. I will put a little care package together and do a giveaway at the end. So stay till the end. This is a 2XL. If you wear a 2 extra large, stay till the end. You'll want to win this. So y'all saw me throw in the freak color. Um, I've actually got, I think, a couple more catches on that. And then I uh, cut it off, put a different frog on. But I grabbed some more Spro Frogs. They're kind of like the, I guess, the original frog, one of the original, that and the Booyah Pad Crasher that I used. Nothing too crazy, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. They just work. Everything you need. Um, this is the Outback color. I grabbed this in the regular frog, pointed nose, the 65. And then also in the popping version, the 60 millimeter, um, a half ounce versus five eighths ounce. You can see there the, the pointy nose versus the popping. Um, and on the belly of this, you can't really see it, but it's like a yellow with some brown lines. And on top of it's kind of dark. So a very natural color. I like that yellow or orangish kind of belly chartreuse if you're trying to mimic uh, bluegill. This one has worked well for me. The natural color, I didn't pick any of those up. That one's worked well. And then the freak color. This one's something out of the ordinary. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see this one. Uh, this one's called Halloween Pumpkin. Again, that's in that 65, uh, the Spro 65, that pointy nose there. Oranges, reds, yellowish, just a different color. I figured why not, let's pick it up. I got this guy that they call Toad. A little bit more of a transparent see-through frog. So the back is kind of an orange. You look at the belly and it's like this clearish with uh, a couple black dots. Now I'm a huge fan of Old Smokey. Uh, and the Booyah Pad Crasher, which is like a grayish with like some flake in it. 
Um, so I figured, why not? I don't really have very many see-through frogs. Let's pick it up, very natural looking. Now, not really natural looking, picking up these two. They're kind of contrasting. I got this color that's called Harbor Seal, which is like gray with blue on it. And this color they call Navy Seal, which is like black with blue on it. So just a couple different colors. Um, now for me, if I only had to pick one, it would be an all black frog. And you look at the belly of this frog and it's black. Um, but I don't really throw a gray and this gray has like blue dots on it. I've never thrown a gray frog with blue dots. Uh, I love the black, but they're kind of contrasting Navy Seal, Harbor Seal. Why not? Let's pick them up and try them, dang it. A P-Line does have right now on Tackle Warehouse, and I'll leave all this stuff that I've picked up linked below. So in case you're interested in any of it, you can click on my link below, follow it, uh, and it's super easy for you. But the P-Line right now has buy one, get one free uh, in the blue box stuff. Uh, I've been using this all year. Big fan of it. Really nice uh, line. I got the 15 pound. I actually grabbed uh, three of these. 15 pound line. That is my go-to usually for anything. So if I could only pick one line, it'd be 15 pound fluorocarbon. Unless I need it to float, then I'd kind of be up a creek without a paddle. But 15 pound fluorocarbon is what I use on most everything. Now, I also picked up some P-Line, some of the TCB braid uh, in 65 pound. I've been using the lighter stuff, the high vis like yellow greenish lime green stuff uh, but i got some 65 pound for frog and i was using some of the uh, the p line max quattro or uh, not p line power pro max quattro and i had all sorts of break off issues i got some of the suffix stuff and so far that one's been good uh but i got some of the 65 pound p line tcb to try i haven't used their 65 but i like the uh, the 10 and 15 pound on my spinning rods and reels and then i also got some of the suffix 832, uh, I got a deal on the uh, the 600 yard deal of it in 65 pound. I've used this in what is it 80 or 85 pound on my uh, my musky rod, but I like the suffix 832. I think they make really good line. Okay, closing out the video here. I had to re up on some reaction innovation stuff now. Some of these are doubles that I got. I got a couple of them because some of these are going to go in the box uh, that I send out to one of you lucky viewers because I like the reaction innovation stuff. I've told them if they want to bring a, a truckload over to my, my house and leave it there, I wouldn't complain about it. But so sweet beavers, what did I get in the sweet beavers? This is called soft pappy. So the, uh, the regular sweet beavers a 4.2, yeah, 4.2 inch beaver style bait. And they're really the ones that put this beaver style bait on the market. Uh, you can see here, it's very slender. It doesn't have any sort of weird appendages. It's got these little two deals here. And then the tail of it, you break this in half and it looks like a couple of craw claws. So there's no sort of action, no sort of kicking, great cold weather bait. And I use it for flipping and pitching around really thick cover because it doesn't have a bunch of appendages or curly tails to get stuck. Um, now this one I got because it's going to kind of replace my, uh, the blue craw. This is a very similar, it's not as green pumpkin. It's almost more of a watermelon red flake with that blue craw like iridescent blue in it. They were out of the blue cross, so I grabbed some of those. I like that color and a little cleaner to dirty water, you know, kind of stained water. I think that will do fine. Now, kind of along the same color line, I got some of these that are called Spanish Fly. Now, this is like a watermelonish green with an iridescent purple mixed in. So very similar. You can see that soft pappy had uh, flake and stuff in it. This is more of just kind of a clean color. Uh, both very similar. I think either one will do well, but I like that kind of uh, watermelon green pumpkinish almost color with that purple iridescence to mimic bluegill and some of the cleaner water around here. So I think that one will do good. Then I also picked up a couple dark colors. Now black and purple or black and blue both do really well around here. Uh, and the, uh, the regular sweet beaver, I got this color. And this one they call blank check because if you're throwing this, you might as well write a check out if you're fishing a tournament because this color flat out catches them so it's got this like black and blue front black and blue like flake front and you flip it over it's got this kind of uh like flake slash iridescent purplish blue in it love this color i've used that in both the sweet beaver and the smally beaver which is a smaller size three and a half inch works great as a jig trailer i've had a lot of luck with that color and blank check and then also, depending on the color you're looking for, I also picked up some of these. That color is called Main Vein. So this is like a black with a blue and purple swirl through it. And it doesn't have the flake like the uh, the blank check. So it's more of a solid color. So it really just depends on what you like. Uh, here in Iowa, we have the craws that turn like that blackish blue color almost when they molt. 
Um, a lot of the, the crawfish around here are like a rusty craw, green pumpkin-y, rusty brown, but uh, we've got a lot of those that go like blackish dark with like a blue color on the claws. So I think that's why black and blue works so well around here, but Reaction Innovations, they've got some pretty colors. I grabbed one kinky beaver. I wanted to get like the payback uh, or tramp stamp, but I ended up just going with this. Uh, this is called Hematoma Color, another spinoff of the black and blue. I wanted to show it because it's just a little bit different than, uh, than the others that I was showing you. This is more of a dark black color. It's got some blue swirl in it, but it's also got like a, a reddish slash purpley flake in it. It's not real noticeable. This is more of just like your solid black and blue. It's not real see-through like the others. Um, I've used all of these. I've had good luck with these. I think it really just depends on what you like. Now, the Kinky Beaver is a little bit different because it's got the two little things here, like the regular beaver, but it's also got these two like club feet uh, pincher things down at the bottom and a couple little antenna with kind of your curly tips on it. So you've got these pig, two big club feet that are kicking. You've got the little antenna that are doing this deal. It's got more going on with it, but still in a pretty slim beaver style profile there. So you've got the sweet beaver versus the kinky beaver. This has more action. I've thrown these uh, to mimic, you know, bluegill, whatever you're trying to mimic. Uh, they've got more action than the regular beaver. Okay, I've said it before, but my favorite stick baits on the market, the Reaction Innovations Pocket Rocket, uh, I grabbed a color called Violator. This is a color that I honestly don't throw a lot. It's like almost a, a PB and J. You can see it's kind of see-throughish. It's got like a brown uh, with red flake bottom and like a purple with red flake top. A uh, color that I've never thrown for them, kind of like a mix between PBJ and Morning Dawn. A little bit more see-through. I figured why not. I've got a bunch of the green pumpkin, but I wanted to try a couple different colors. Because I like trying different colors. You never know. That's uh, the Violator color. And I needed a darker color for uh, my more stained water when I'm using like a follow-up bait after frogging. So I got the Hematoma again. Y'all just saw that color, but uh, the black with kind of blue swirls in it and some bluish purple flake I guess you call it cool color really this is just to make a dark silhouette when you're following about after a frog and dirtier you know kind of more muddy water uh, or throwing it you know wood or cover any sort of thing that you you think might hold a fish throwing something like this that's gonna make a good outline easy to eat meal I absolutely love them the pocket rocket five and a half inch okay last thing in the box is some of the spicy beavers now I've used these on and off I haven't actually caught a bunch on film um, when I've used it, it's kind of been one here, one there, but the Spicy Beaver is a really cool bait. Uh, first off, when you look at it, you can see that they do leave a little bit extra here on top in case you're Texas rigging it. So your hook just sits underneath that. It kind of grabs that. I thought that was kind of cool. That's the first bait that I've seen do that. There might be other companies that do it. I don't know, but... Uh, this color is called Sungill. The Skinny Dipper or Little Dipper, I've used these like in the paddle tails in this color. Awesome bluegill color uh, to mimic, you know, bluegill, bream, whatever you have, sunfish uh, in your lake. That kind of green pumpkin top and then kind of a yellowish orange belly. It's got some flake in it, but uh, the Spicy Beaver is interesting because it's just a, a very thin, narrow bait. And then you can see at the back of it, it's got two large claws. But on the back of the claw, they've got this like ruddery type deal so when this catches water it really flaps um, just a cool different looking little bait uh, I grabbed that they work awesome on chatter baits swim jig trailers or you can just flip them and pitch them alone and just like that so I grabbed uh, that sungill to mimic bluegill I grabbed a couple of the white they actually call it white trash some of their names just absolutely crack me up I'll throw one of these in for you uh, I got some other reaction innovation stuff uh, and things in the box but I'll throw you a white in there and then I grabbed uh, kind of a couple other colors that blank check that I already showed you black and blue on my black and blue chatter baits or uh, the magic cross swirl which is one of my absolute favorites like a green pumpkin with that kind of iridescent uh, in there again you can use that to mimic bluegill or cross whatever you have but uh, just a very natural color so that's going to do it for me tonight fish and friends tonight subscribe fish and friend is my guy fishing with gramps uh, he has a youtube channel make sure you check him out he's always in my lives always supporting me now if you would like to win the giveaway package um, i have a 2x shirt so to win the package, you just have to say something with 2X in it, like 2X and then comment, or I wear a 2X, 
Whatever you want to comment, I'm going to pick a random winner and it has to say something about you wearing a 2X because I want you to actually wear this and get use out of it. Um, 2X large, if you wear that, you can win it. Otherwise, thank you everybody else who continues to watch and support my channel. Like I've said before, I would not be here if it wasn't for all of you watching and supporting my videos. So thank you all very much. Uh, I've got more coming this week. So thank you for watching and until next time.